Hello G Nation, it's your host G and we got the character preview for Ezekiel, not Elias. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late on that, I have been crazy busy the last 2-3 days and I've been getting so many, many, many messages that I barely had time to do anything else really, really after answering all these. So. Ezekiel is a technician. He's the chase this month. He recruits at five star gold, which means you need 5,000 uh, shards, although you can get him at three star gold from the uh, event milestones as well. If we have a look, his coach ability at 26,000 is blue finishers do 50% more damage, does not include submission moves, so obviously pretty useful for a character that I have a blue finisher that hits for a lot. Uh, links with the other raw and modern era characters and he doesn't have any gear. Now the first move set we're gonna have a look at is the diving elbow drop. 10 MP green move finisher deals 202.3k damage. Choose 11 gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. The hollow bomb 8 MP green move deal 101.2k damage and increase your purple gem damage by 350% for one turn. Does not affect bonus damage. And the jumping eye knee 7 MP yellow move deal 82.1k damage and choose 8 gems to make into green gems. Obviously, the Ine is going to be to get or green ready. Then we're going to use the move that is going to increase our purple damage by a ton. And then we're going to use the finisher, which will make a lot of purples. Now, trainers we're going to be using for that. You can do green move damage, which not a huge fan. You can do increasing uh, purple gem generated and you can do also increase purple damage. The reason I went for increased gem generated rather than purple damage is that even if I add 35% uh, or 20% or a flat or whatever, I'm already increasing my purple by 350%. None of that is going to matter any compared to just adding more gems. Like you want to create as much as them as you want because they're going to do a big amount of damage. It's basically as if you had like time four uh, gems on the board. So we're going to go here with uh, Kofi so that we start with more yellow. Uh, I got Dawkins or you could use also uh, Daniel Bryan so that you generate four more purples. I got Hall of Fame Eddie which adds two purples and purple are going to do 5% more damage. And I also got the Zombie Orton, which adds another two purple and increase my kick out by 10. Don't really care about that last part now. Uh, if my Orton was higher, he would actually inc uh, create three gems, but he's not high enough for now. Right, the uh, title I got here, I put in the DX plate, because again, don't really need now. The only downside is that I'm not really recycling like I'm going to be making purple, but I'm not making any greens or any yellow. So I could try to go for that, but I don't think there's even one that recycles purple into yellow or something like that. Yeah, it's purple to black. I could go with purple and it gives me three green, although three green won't even get me any closer anyway. Yeah, let's not use that. Well, we'll keep using the DX. Uh, the two word for you uh, plate here. Uh, I got two Fury and two Fury 2. I got a green move uh, metal, although it is a tier four, not a tier five. It's only 133%. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> Slow that down. All right, so I need Six. There you go. Right now my greens are doing 21k, my purples are doing 17k. Now we're going to increase them by 
Now they're doing 76k my purples. Now we're going to be making 19. That did 2.4 million. And I actually got enough green to get it off again next turn. Alright, so that works pretty good. Right, let's check something else. Alright, second move set for Elias. It's uh, going to be another move set with green and yellow. This time it's going to be the single leg Boston Crab 7 MP green move. Color submission, choose 10 gem to make into yellow sub gem and do under 130.8k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into immobile gems. The corner mule kick, which is a 6 MP yellow move. Deal 76.2k damage and convert all immobile gems into gems of strength, uh, leech gems of strength of 162.1k damage. And the jumping eye knee, 7 MP yellow move, deal 82.1k damage and choose 8 gems to make into green gems. It's going to be pretty big leech gems here. And we're actually going to make them a lot bigger because we're going to be using Thierry, which I just recruited yesterday, and adds Leech Gems do 100% more damage. And we're going to put also uh, Set, which is Leech Gems do 25% more, da more damage and create one more. And right now we're not going to create one more. But that's going to make Leeches that do 125% more, which it's not updating here, but it's probably going to be close to like 300k uh, something like that actually 350k something like that uh, we're also going to be uh, using a rezzer which adds four more greens for our knee uh, move right there and we're going to start with four more green with steel now the trainers we're going to be using uh, not trainers, belt, the skill plate is going to be the all art, which is when you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for a two turn. And obviously this is going to be because we're going to be making all those greens that are going to connect with the leeches. And uh, I got uh, Fury and Fury 2, two of each, and uh, the 133% uh, yellow move metal. Right, let's try that. All right. So we need one yellow match, and then we try to place them close to some greens. Unfortunately, I don't know what the amount is because the move here doesn't update the actual value and the gems usually don't show. So yeah, 
don't know. They should be about 350 or something like that. Something like that. Well, 2.2 mil, not too bad. Plus it's also a hell of a heal, should I ever take any damage. And uh, we're basically filling a submission so that he's never going to be able to do any move either. I think I like this better than the first one just because you got that submission that's going to prevent him from ever doing anything and you just keep getting out over and over. Alright, let's try something else. Alright, third move set for Ezekiel. This time it's going to be the triple green. It is a single leg Boston Crab again, 7 MP green move, color sub, choose 10 gem to make into yellow sub, and do 130.8k damage for 3 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into immobile gems. The diving elbow drop, 10 MP green move, fin finisher deals 202.3k damage, choose 11 gem to make into purple gem, and pin the opponent. And the Halo Bomb 8 MP green move, deal 101.2k damage and increase your purple gem damage by 350% for one turn. It does not affect bonus damage. Now the trainers we're going to be using, George Steel to start with more green. We're going to use a Gable so that green finisher do 150% more damage. K K not K quick. <laughs> Our truth so that green move do 25% more damage and Gooker so that all move do 25% more damage. As far as the belt, since we're going to be using three green moves, we're going to use the Sheik Simtar or the Centaur of the Sheik, which is when <coughs> <coughs> sorry, whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns. And we're going to have a green tier 4 medal, which increased by 133%. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a tier 5. If I had, it would be 200% instead. All right, let's do this. I do need to grab one green. This will give me one green there. Now we're up to 1.4 million on the finisher, plus we're going to make a bunch of purples that do 50k each. Now I'll grab those three, because then this one is going to fall on those four here. Can take that. And I don't really have much other purples. I can match with Maybe a couple of cascades. Eh, still 2.3 million. Seems like pretty much all the movesets I try end up around 2.3 million. <laughs> all right, well, let's try something else. All right, last moveset we're gonna have a look at for Ezekiel. Kind of curious to see how it's gonna turn out because I typically hate those kind of movesets. So it's going to be the Diving Elbow Drop, 10 MP Green Move, Finisher deals 202.3k damage, choose 11 gems to make into purple gems and pin the opponent. The Patience is a Virtue, 4 MP Purple Move, this move can only be used while pinned, 
deal 314.4k damage and decrease the damage of all your opponent gems by 35% for 3 total turns. This includes both your turn and your opponent's turn. The don't call it a comeback. 4 MP purple move. This move can only be used while pinned. Deal 308.4k damage and increase your green MP by 10. Now this is two moves that you need to use while being pinned and neither of them actually get you out of the pin. Well actually it might, I don't know actually if it does because it does deal damage. It might actually get you out that way. We'll see I guess. The uh, trainers we're going to use for that. Uh, don't need an MP trainer for the purple because they're only 4 MP. Uh, the green we're going to build up with the don't call it a comeback. So we don't need green MP either. Uh, so it's all going to be all about move damage really. And we're going to put in a big show here so that the purple move do 45% more damage. I'm going to keep Gable here so that the green finisher does 150% because right, that's going to help to keep them down. And we're going to have Gooker because that's going to help both the green and the purple move damage. And I'm adding Hall of Fame Trish so that purple does 25%. As you see, that makes both of them in the 600 range. Uh, as far as metal here, we're going to switch this one because it's not going to be much use. What could we put instead of that? Can you break purple, get green? I guess that would be one way to get green too. Uh, I'm not too sure what to use on this. Maybe cheap shot to help preventing on the pin. I think I'm going to use the glowing phantom phenom just to try to get a backup to get the green should uh, I not get pinned. Like if it takes too long for him to pin me, I still need to get my green to do something. So let's try with that. You could also use a purple move metal instead of green. So both the purples are ready. Obviously that's going to require him to pin me. Oh, my green is going to be ready next turn too. That's usually why I hate these movesets. It's because it pretty much needs you to get your ass kicked to, for you to do anything. Now, in the meantime, we're going to be using this. saw nothing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try that again. Let me see if I can uh, I can find someone that's gonna maybe get a pin faster. Point maybe. Can't use him there. Dusty, maybe? Need to use a trickster, so that's not gonna work. We're pretty restricted in who we can use. Boogeyman, maybe? No. Let's go. Try 
try to find some on there. Mm -hmm. Try to find someone that's going to actually pin me. Oh, that's not going to help. Now he's got to do the whole bar to pin me. I'm not going to use my finisher because I don't want this to end. Alright, there you go. Now we're pinned. So, this is going to do 720, well, almost 730,000. Now this is going to do 716,000. Right, that actually answers the fact that it also doesn't affect the kickout damage. But you do still have to kick out of it, so it's not a get out of pin. Now, though, his gem damage is severely reduced. Well, it's reduced by 35%. Let's not use this. Do something like that. It gives us a 1.5 million pin with 35% reduce. Alright, so that also works. Uh, but I don't like the fact that you gotta get pin first. So I, I'd say overall pretty good character. He's not an OP character like we've had with many chase. A bit underwhelming as a chase really, especially for a two-month chase. Uh, he doesn't have like big numbers or anything. But uh, like I think my favorite one was probably the second move set, which was the one that had the uh, submission. What was it again? We had the submission. Was the yeah with the leech gem? The one with the leech gem was my favorite. Like we were making the leech gem and the jumping I need that worked out pretty damn well with the submission because you were keeping his MP down, he couldn't do anything. The leech gem were giving you a ton of health, should you even take any damage, and you were still doing pretty good damage at over <coughs> <coughs> over two million at five star goal i'm actually curious to see how that does <coughs> at six star but uh yeah i mean pretty good survivability right there preventing him to do anything cycled really well doesn't hit that hard but also doesn't need to because of everything else it's doing uh worth mentioning we do have a six star move which is the drift away let me pull out what it actually does at six star though So at six star bronze, drift away is a seven MP yellow move, deals 140.7k damage plus 225k bonus damage for every immobile gem. That could be pretty major if you use, uh, is it like LWO Eddie plus Ogan that adds, fit? so they would both add 100%. It would be like 450k for every immobile gem that you have from the submission. That could be pretty interesting at 6 star, really. So that'd be worth a try, but also the moveset with the leech gems uh, would probably work out pretty damn well as well. So anyway, that's it for Ezekiel. Again, he's the chase this month. You got two months to get either his 5,000 shards for 5 star gold or just max the event. 
and you get the three star gold thanks for watching if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any wet questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys g out ciao